Prince Charles to inherit tarnished crown as legacy of scandals left Queen unscathed. Prince Charles will inherit a tarnished crown with a legacy of scandals that left Queen Elizabeth II unscathed, one royal expert has claimed. Prince Charles, 72, will become king when the Queen either steps down or dies. But a historian warned Charles is bound to face huge challenges when he eventually inherits the crown. Over recent years, the firm has faced a number of difficult challenges to overcome. Charles' younger brother, Prince Andrew, is currently embroiled in a civil court case brought against him by one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims. While Andrew has vehemently denied all of the accusations made against him they have seriously marred his reputation and he stepped down from royal duties following a widely criticized interview with the BBC in 2019. Despite reports Andrew asked the Queen to be allowed to temporarily step back as a senior royal following the death of his father Prince Philip, Prince Charles is thought to be adamant there is no way back for the Duke of York. Last year, the royal family was dealt another blow following the shock departure of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from the firm. Following their move to California, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made several explosive allegations about their time within the royal family during an interview with Oprah Winfrey. During the bombshell sit-down, the couple claimed a senior royal had a conversation with Harry about the skin color of their son, Archie, before he was born. Oprah later confirmed the accused royal in question was not the Queen nor her late husband Prince Philip. At the time of announcing their departure, the Duke and Duchess outlined their wish to split their lives between North America and the UK, retain their full titles and patronages and continue to serve the Crown while also pursuing for-profit projects to become independent from the sovereign grant. However, their plans were dashed following meetings among the royals and Meghan and Harry eventually stepped down renouncing to use their HRH styles, carry out a royal engagement and retain their royal and military associations. The Queen has managed to maintain her impartiality throughout the flurry of recent royal crises but an article in Politico published back in April, warned Charles will face huge challenges when he is king. The article by journalist Anna Isaac argued, while the Queen remains personally popular, a series of public relations disasters has tarnished the rest of the royal family. She continued, The controversies have not touched the Queen, but they're bound to make things more difficult for Charles, who will be subject to intense scrutiny from the moment he takes over. The Prince of Wales lacks his mother's knack for staying above the political fray. Elizabeth aggressively cultivated a reputation for impartiality. Historian at the Institute for Government, Catherine Haddon added, he's, Charles, been much more cautious at least in public of any semblance on having views on matters. But I'm not sure that the same level of trust exists there. Ems Haddon claimed Charles may strain to emulate his mother's diplomatic skills. In December, the Queen kicked off a new era for the royal family with an event attended by seven senior family members, with the group quickly being dubbed the new firm. Andrew, as well as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, were notably absent from the lineup. The new firm included Prince Charles, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Princess Anne and Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex.